This is a budgie. You may have had one as a pet. Budgies come in many colors. Yellow and green is the wild type coloration. Unlike the yellow and red pigments in birds like canaries and flamingos, the yellow pigment in budgie feathers does not come from the diet. Instead, it is synthesized by the budgie itself. The pigments are called cetacofulvins, and they are responsible for the red, orange, and yellow colors in all parrots. However, little is known about the enzymes that make them. In this project, we identified one of the key enzymes in cetacofulvin synthesis by genetic mapping of color mutations in budgies. The blue mutation in budgies is a recessive Mendelian trait that causes loss of yellow pigment. Loss of yellow pigment reveals an underlying blue structural color on parts of the body, which otherwise appear green when pigment is present. For over a century, breeders have selected for new color traits like blue. Many breeders compete in budgie shows, where birds are judged on plumage and other traits. Carefully kept pedigrees and notes on phenotypes help them decide which birds to mate and help us decide which birds to collect DNA samples from. When artificial selection on a new mutation occurs, it sweeps the allele to high frequency. Neighboring alleles, together called a haplotype, are often swept along with it. We found all blue budgies share a single 400 kilobase long haplotype. This means all blue budgies originate from a common ancestor. We found that one of the genes located within the blue haplotype is highly expressed in regenerating feathers. We named it MUPKS for Melopsitacus undulatus polyketide synthase. Polyketide synthases are large multifunctional enzymes. They come up in a variety of biological systems from bacteria to mammals and also in plants and are responsible for making all kinds of interesting structurally complicated organic molecules, natural products. When we examined the MUPKS gene sequence, we found all blue budgies are homozygous for the amino acid tryptophan at position 644. But all green budgies were homozygous for arginine or were heterozygous. Previous studies of polyketide synthases in bacteria showed that this arginine is located within the active site and is critical for catalytic function. To see if arginine 644 was also required for MUPKS activity, we cloned the gene from budgies and expressed it in yeast. Yeast expressing wild-type MUPKS produced the same set of yellow pigments as in yellow budgie feathers. MUPKS with tryptophan at position 644 did not produce any pigment. It has been known for over a hundred years that blue is a simple Mendelian trait in budgies, but now for the first time, we can point to the specific DNA base pair that causes it. We also found genes homologous to MUPKS in most other birds and many other types of animals. Unlike budgies though, birds outside the parrot family don't express PKS in their feathers. This means that changes in gene expression levels probably played an important part in the evolution of colors in parrots. When we try to study how the expression of this enzyme is regulated in time and space, we are surprised to find it is actually controlled by special kind of epithelial cells. The axial plate cells that die, but before they die, they paint their neighboring cells. How pigment is deposited by the axial plate cells is still unknown. We also don't know yet why some parrots are red, like the scarlet macaw, but others, like the budgie, are yellow. But now that we've found a gene that controls color in one type of parrot, the budgie, we're one step closer to understanding how all the amazing colors of these birds are controlled by simple changes in DNA.